Hey guys, Green Arrow Films here, and quick thing on the video. So, I adjusted my color corrections. Tell me what you guys think. I think they look a little better, and also I'm fixing the audio in this video. I know I had problems with the audio before, but it should be all fixed now. So, I want to talk about what I want in the next Call of Duty. Saying, I know, we all know that there's going to be another Call of Duty. It's not a surprise to anybody. So, yeah. Um, to take advantage of the next console, I want a bigger player count in some game types. Like for, I guess, the quote-unquote, or for Ground War, I want 16 versus 16. I think that would be really cool, and it would give them a lot of room to expand on the maps. Um, I really would like them to take advantage of dedicated servers, because I know everybody wants dedicated servers. It would just make the game run a lot smoother and there wouldn't be as much lag comp or any of that. It would be really interesting to see what they could do with dedicated servers. Or possible rent a server. I would I think I'd spend five, ten dollars a month on rent, renting a server for Call of Duty. Um I want the specialist in score streak or in support kill streaks back. Um I really like that in Modern Warfare 3, it was a nice addition. I wish they brought it back in Black Ops 2, but they didn't. Uh, another one, I kind of think they should bring back proficiencies, depending on how the game is. They wouldn't fit in Black Ops 2, but in Black Ops 1, I think, or I mean in Modern Warfare 3, they, they worked really well. Um, I want the lightning strikes to be like artillery. So, yeah, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, the lightning strike shoots a lot faster than our artillery in any other Call of Duty. Um, the free for all counts. Free for all has is a pain, to be honest. It's it's spawn trap. It, it, that's all it is, and I feel like if they lowered the player count, it would be easier on the spawn system. Um, I want more fun game types like sticks and stones, one in the chamber, gun game, and I really want an infected back, possibly expand on infected, because I I had tons of fun and. In Modern Warfare 3 playing Infected. Um, I don't want Spec Ops. That's another thing. I feel like they can get rid of Spec Ops. They can do something better than that. And I really want to see what they have to offer instead of Spec Ops. Alright, so... Next, um... In Black Ops 2, they, they added a system where... There are no perks for guns, if you guys kind of noticed. Um... Like steady aim has turned into the the laser sights, I think that's what it's called, or the laser. And then the marksman has turned into target finder. And I really like that. I want them to bring it back. I would also like a season pass like Black Ops 2. I feel like Modern Warfare 3 season pass kind of thing didn't really work out too well. Just releasing new maps like once a month. I kind of like having them all together. And then um. I campaign wise, I want a campaign like Black Ops 2. I really like the campaign. I really like how you can make decisions and the the whole decision thing in video games right now is becoming a huge thing. Walking Dead, Mass Effect, all those games have it and everyone seems to love it. Black Ops 2 took advantage of it and it did it really well in my opinion. Um I want I might get some hate for this, but I want the shotguns like Black Ops 2. I really liked the shotguns in Black Ops 2, and I didn't feel like they were overpowered like Modern Warfare 3. I thought they were pretty much perfect. I do want a double barrel back though. I miss my double barrel. World of War was tons of fun with that thing that sawed off. Um, this is kind of on the shotguns. The weapon balancing like Black Ops 2. I think the weapon balancing is, is great in this game. Um, I want a hard point back. I at first I didn't like hard point, but I do like hard point now. So I f I want it back. And another controversial thing is I want either no ghost or ghost like Black Ops 2. I know a lot of people. It's so hard the ghost thing because I know a lot of people love ghosts, and then there's a lot of people who who hate ghosts. It's really just it's a subject that no one really wants to talk about. I'm happy that they got rid of uh, Last Chance, whatever it was called, when, or Second Chance. So that was really good in Black Ops 2. That's something they should really get you to listen to community on that kind of thing because it took them way too long to get rid of Second Chance. 
Um. Oh, this one is a huge one. A better theater system. I very rarely record any of my videos in theater because there's so much lagginess. Like, I'll be shooting at a guy in, in real time, and in theater mode, it'll be like five steps behind him. It's ridiculous. And I feel like they're really need to improve that because it's just. It's horrendous how it is right now. I record everything live just because of that reason. Um. I want them to make the, the theater system almost like a an editing software. I want them to make it so that people can commentate and upload from the theater system. We'll kind of give everyone in the community a better sense of what YouTube is like and give those guys who don't want to spend the hundreds of dollars on editing and the hardware and all that equipment a chance at the YouTube scene. I think that'll be a really good way to expand. I feel like they can do it with the next generation consoles. Um, like they, like I just said, in theater montages, I feel like that'd be really cool if you could just edit all your clips together and make kind of like a montage in in the theater mode. They could they could take advantage of that pretty easily, and I think the whole community would benefit from that. Better live streaming. I've tried live streaming once or twice in Black Ops 2. I've never had got it to work. It just... I don't know. It just doesn't work out for me. So I really want them to improve on the live streaming. Just all together. Um, yeah, theater mode all together can use a whole... whole new redo. Just because it's just so horrendous how it is right now. Um, I really want to see them do taking a, a new spin on things. If Call of Duty wants to stay in the top spot, they really have to do something different because now that the new consoles are around, everyone's going to be trying to get to that spot for what Call of Duty is. And they're not going to be doing it by copying Call of Duty. I can tell you that for sure. It might be a shooter, but it's definitely not going to be Call of Duty style. I think everyone's going to be surprised by what the next Call of Duty is, whereas everyone says it's a Call of Duty killer. So that that's going to be interesting. So they really need to take a new spin on what they're doing. I really want them to experiment. Bring out all new ideas. We need another revolutionary Call of Duty, like even though I hate it, Modern Warfare 2 brought a lot of new things, and I feel like we need another Modern Warfare 2. I'll take all the crappiness from Modern Warfare 2 just to get some new stuff. Um, I want them to bring back more equipment like Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 has a lot of equipment, and Black Hats work really, really well. So I want them to, I want them to bring back Black Hats, um, the trophy system. I don't use it too much, but for objective games, it works really well. And then I want them to bring back Decoy. If you guys remember that from Black Ops 1, Decoy. That fooled all the noobs, and I feel like that would be fun to use again. I use it a lot, so I'm praying that they bring that one back. Um, so I'm gonna—that's my my end of my uh, tangent on the new Call of Duty. So I'm starting a new series soon. Hopefully, I don't want to say anything, but I'll give you guys more details later since the video is almost over. Um, this is Green Arrow Films. Tell me what you guys think about the the new Call of Duty that's coming out, and make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks.